Walter Rockite reporting from the Rocky Mountains that people are now treating pet rocks as humans and the rocks are becoming part of society. If you're a child of the 70s, odds are you were one of the 1.5 million kids that got a pet rock for Christmas. The smooth stone came packaged in a cardboard box complete with instructions for how to properly care for your new pet. The toy's creator, Gary Ross Dahl, passed away at the age of 78. In honor of him, let's take a nostalgic look back at some of the best toy fads. Hi there, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. How are you today? Kids of the 80s probably remember this creepy voice. A Teddy Ruxpin bear came complete with a cassette tape in its back. Remember those? And it could speak to you. This toy was so popular it had its own cartoon and even earned a mention in the hit movie Ted. Christmas morning when I was eight years old, I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. Say that one more time. Fast forward about a decade and we're treated to another talking toy. The Tickle Me Elmo caused pandemonium at toy stores when it was first released in 1996. It's still around today, but doesn't cause quite the chaos that it used to. I took good care of her, and she changed again. The 90s also saw the release of the Tamagotchi, a handheld digital pet that looks like something out of the dinosaur age these days. But if you missed your chance the first time around, don't fret. This toy is still around today, but with a fresh new look, of course. <gasps> What's that? Pick me up. It's my Furby. Who can forget the hypnotic eyes of a Furby? This robotic toy really hit it big in 1998 with millions sold. Hasbro then attempted a relaunch in the 2000s, but it's still as creepy as ever. You're a pal. This last toy takes us back to the 80s, and boy is it a classic. Couch Patch Kits, still in production today, come complete with an adoption certificate. Kids can even visit the Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland, Georgia, where the dolls are born. Come on, admit it, you have one in your attic somewhere. All this reminiscing has us thinking, what will the toy companies think up next?